kids today bring your galoshes and yeah. your umbrellas, <laughs> raincoats? Be prepared. What else? Et cetera. Yes. Uh -huh. well, and not everyone's seeing the rain so far this morning. A okay. lot of areas are dry, but that's all about to change, especially I think in Eastern Mass. Later today, we're going to get some downpours coming on through. I want to show you what is happening right now on satellite and radar. You see a couple of showers pushing through parts of southeastern Mass, also some out in western Mass towards Albany. And you notice there's actually some more showers down towards Kingston, too. And some of these may scrape the northwest portions of Massachusetts before moving towards Vermont and New Hampshire. Also, some down and in around Boston, as well as Providence. And then there's a couple of light showers in and around Gloucester, as well as down towards Randolph, Brockton, Medway. Even Taunton now getting in on some light rain shower activity. But the heavier rain is down to the south. There's an area of low pressure, an upper level low, that is. Pinwheeling a lot of moisture you see over parts of New York as well as Pennsylvania. It is about to transfer its energy down over the Atlantic Ocean. You can already see this. See how these showers are starting to fire up and become more numerous? That is actually going to be that coastal low pressure system that develops. And then it's going to slowly track to the north and take its time. So we are going to get in on some rain beginning this afternoon, more so into tonight, into tomorrow. And into Thursday as well before we kick the system out of here on Friday. We haven't picked up much in terms of rain though this morning, only about three one hundredths of an inch in Plymouth, five one hundredths of an inch in Providence. So very light amounts so far. That will also change, I think, later today in some spots. Not everyone will see it though. The Cape, the islands getting in on some heavy rain later this morning into the afternoon. More showers starting to fire up from coastal Maine down through New Hampshire. And down along Metro West, I think around 95, there's going to be some heavy bands setting up, and that could cause some ponding on the area roads through the afternoon into the evening. Now, as we get towards the overnight, notice how we still have the clouds around, but there's not as much in green on the radar. And that's because I think we're going to be dry slotted for a bit. But then as we head towards Wednesday afternoon and evening, as that area of low pressure really sits over top of us, then we'll start to see more moisture push on in. So for today, greatest concentration of showers is going to be in the eastern half of the state. And there even could be some lightning. In fact, what I'm thinking from this is the heavy rain is going to be the big impact. Not really talking about that much in the way of wind, maybe some stronger winds tonight into tomorrow. There could be some minor beach erosion, but the best chances for that, I think, is going to be up through coastal Massachusetts and the seacoast of New Hampshire. As we get through the next seven days, Temperatures warm into the upper 50s tomorrow as well as Thursday. The rain finally shuts off on Friday, and the weekend looks very nice. Good morning, Alessa. Good.